Alright, how we doing folks? Welcome to another episode over here, Total Tuesday. We're starting a little bit further back because I gotta I gotta do whatever this eye thing is. I don't know. It'll appear it over here. <laughs> it's a jiggy baby. Go figure, starting off this episode strong. Look at that, even that guy celebrating hands up in the air. I put my hands up in the air sometime. Oh whoops, did not mean to do that. Uh alright, so we beat the swamp, we beat Treasure Trove Cove, we got Clanker stuff, and we got the first one, Spiral Mountain. So now I gotta go. To the ice one or the desert one, I believe. I don't, I don't really remember. There's also a jiggy in there, which I have to come get from up top. So we'll do that later. Um, hey, it's my girl. Let's talk to her real quick, though. See what she's got to say. Got to get all these good notes and stuff from her. My lazy sister often sleeps in a dumpster. <laughs> Dirty hag. All right. Let's examine that for a second. I'm going to keep talking to her. But she sleeps in a dumpster. I mean, that's pretty, like, bad right there. The only thing she ever won was the biggest butt competition at which school. She, man, you tap that ass, though. I ain't, ain't going to say nothing about that. She often boasts of appearing on the cover of Fat Hag Monthly, polishing her crystal ball. All right, well, it's, it seems more like she's just a hater in this circumstance. But if your sister's sleeping in a dumpster, wouldn't you step in at some point? Like, wouldn't you be like, hey, yo, like, let, let's rethink, like, how we doing life here. Why are you sleeping in the dumpster? You know, sis, why don't we talk about this and maybe we could find a way that you could sleep in a bed or something. Like, what the, yeah, celebration. Instead of just hating on her like that. I mean, that was just pure hate. Why do I talk all the time? It's really hard to pay you no mind. I don't know what that would be. All right, so this looks like we're going over here to the, the Gobi guy. I don't remember what you do to open this thing up. You can do something, though. One of these guys opens up. I don't remember. We'll figure it out. What's this over here? Let's see. Yeah, knock it down. All right, so we got the boots in here. But let's figure out where we got to go first with the boots. So this is where the actual stage is. So I guess we're going to go to the desert next. Uh, let's find out how to open the desert, shall we? do 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 Man, so I'm still like stuck over the fact that his sister sleeps in a dumpster. That's ridiculous. Okay, all right. Joe's online. I want to play Black Ops. I feel you on that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I can break this off. Yep. All right. So these things are like uh, you've activated a magic cauldron. Find two more, same color, to create a portal or whatever. Shortcut. All right. Yeah, that's what those guys are for. Uh, I don't see any opening, though, here. Uh, hmm. Where do we open the desert? These are the big questions in our lives. I don't think we open any... This is closed. And that takes you up top. Uh, that does. That takes you, like, where Jiggy is or something. Nah, it's like that. And the running shoes and stuff. Huh. Stumped. Honestly, I'm, I'm straight up. I'm stumped right now. You know what, maybe there's probably something in the swamp thing. The thing is, I could open up so many of these doors, too, because I have so many jiggies. Like, I don't, or uh, notes. I can't get to that one. So that, one's, that one's definitely a no-no that we gotta go that way. What about up here? What's going on up here? There's a cauldron up here, I believe. I think that's, what the, that's what's going on up over here. Whatever this one might take us. Maybe I go back. I think we gotta go back to where? Whoa. Oh, no, I guess not. I, oh, oh. All right, well. I got hit with eggs? Well, that's kind of strange. All right, well, I might as well activate this sucker while we're here. All right, you've activated a magic cauldron. Blah, 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 blah. Sounds good to me. All right, let's take a jump over here on my girl until it, you know, that, oh boy, I guess this is what this episode is gonna be, just hearing more stories about it. Let's see what, let's see what hate we got this time for. Come on, girl. Come on. Talk to me. I guess I can't talk while I'm doing that. All right. The disgusting Gruntilda has rat bagels for breakfast. Okay. Then she usually has dog dunk burgers. Ugh, dog dunk. Why would you? What the? Wart bags then finish it off with cockroaches and cream. All right, I see what she did there. That's pretty entertaining right there. I could find the, the amusing part behind that. But like, what the hell, man? What kind of family? And over here, there is later on a, a, a flight pad. I remember that. Hmm. Okay. So, still stumped me as to help open this. I don't, I don't remember this opens, but there's no way. Yeah, there's no way that this opens up just by hitting it. Not I can do to it. I'm running over there. This guy looks <laughs> look pretty goofy. This is a the desert's a pretty fun and quirky level. Ooh, maybe this side. I didn't see this side. The desert's a pretty fun and quirky level. Okay, there we go. I don't like stairs much in my lair. They always make me sap for air. Alright, well that's interesting. 
Okay, so this gives me something to jump in there, and I think this takes me to the Jiggy Dam there. I think that's where that goes. So that's cool. At least we got another Jiggy over there. We only oh no, this crazy blue guy. Why are you so mean? Dios mío. All right, here we go. Oop, missed it. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Whoa! All right, let's fall down. This should take me all the way down. Boom, 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 boom. Which works out really well, because I was planning on coming over here anyway. See if we have uh, any entrance over here to the Gobi thing. So we got five of the ones that are over here in Gruntilda's Lair. That's dope. That's cool. I, I mess with that. I, I, could, I could appreciate that. All right, so this is where we went into the swamp over here. Now, usually they are kind of around each other, so this might be a very big possibility that it might be around here. Oh, we just got another one of these. All right, girl. Hit me with it. My fat old sister's favorite sport is broomstick racing. Ah, that's good. Okay. So does she know that they make a Harry Potter game about that? Although she's dim, she attended Cauldron College. All right, second level of a uh, of a uh, Duncan Country too. You won't believe the Gruntilda's party trick is eating a bucket of beans. All right, oh, your poor dears, your energy is low. Oh, you want to refill my health? All right, well, I'll, I'll take that. That's probably the most useful thing you've told me this whole game. Thank you, lady. You're out of your mind, girl. I don't. I mean, honestly, I'm I'm not a big fan of Gruntilda myself. You know, I'm kind of like trying to, you know, whole killer and all that stuff. But oh, no, I don't want that. Don't want none of that. Ouch. So what I do want is to get on this damn path for this camera to kind of settle itself. Come on, camera. You can do it. All right, I guess we're just staying sideways. That's cool. All right, here we go. Now, I should... Oh, there's no... There's no... Oh, man. Right, well, whatever. I'm going to risk it. I want to see what's back here. I don't care if I get hurt. I don't care if I die. Even if I die, I'm just gonna go back to to like the beginning of the damn thing. So it doesn't really matter too much to me. I gotta make. All right, here we go. So here is where the ice level is. Uh, I guess we'll go on the ice one then next, cause I don't know where the other damn desert one is. Shit, man, we'll find that out. Boom. It's icy. It's icy. So icy. So icy. All the midgets like. Oh, they're so excited. I'm so icy. So icy. Shout out to Gucci Man, man. I, I could appreciate that. I listened to that song, man, for the first time. Man, it was, it was a wild summer, man. It was, it was crazy. Ooh, what's going on? What the? Is there a hole there I can fit in through? Yeah. But I can't fit in now. Okay, it's interesting. So how how the hell am I supposed to get out of here then? I'm literally going to die. Did, am I missing something there? That would be the exit over there. Ah, oh, inverted access. You know what? There's also spookies. Oh, there they are. Okay, they're up there. There's also a spooky stage that I gotta go to at some point, which is really one of the least favorite stages for most people that play this game, but I always enjoy that stage. It's a little spooky, scary. Men become wolves. Wolves become... Or men become... Boys become men, and men become wolves or something. I don't know how I went. Oh, come on, man. Stop getting stuck on the damn side. You punk. You're probably even gonna, like, die over here. No! Alright, we go. Boom. Got that. Alright, collect a little. At least we got a little bit of health over here. Alright, so we managed to unlock that. I don't know where the desert is. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to rethink my life about that. I might find that in my own episode or something like that. But let's at least get into the damn ice level, and then maybe we'll call it a wrap over there. Um, yeah, man, the icy, the icy man, the Gucci man story, man. I was. Uh, it was a wild, wild, um, wild emphasis on the word wild. Uh, summer, you know, it was, you know, it was, it was, it was just debauchery. You know, it was crazy. It was. It was, it was madness, and then I picked up a, uh, a CD that was going to be his party, and uh, I had to attend it, and uh, the, I was like, I got to bring some music, though, like, for the party, like, the party didn't have no music, and it was a bunch of, like, people whose music trust, I, music uh, I didn't really trust, so I was like, let me, let me do you the favor, slash do me and the rest of the party a favor, oh, there's 350 right here, oh, maybe it's this one, um, let's do us all a favor over here. And let me bring the music for this party. Um, and uh, I didn't have no music, so I went to a Target and I bought myself a CD, uh, which I still have to this day. It's great. It's called Crunk Hits Volume 2. So there's a couple things to, to assess here. One, here's the desert thing. I knew I'd find you, sucker. All right, so next week we'll pick. We could either go ice or we could go desert. I don't know. We'll see how Marcos feels. If we're feeling cold, burr, if we're feeling warm, ah. Um... So the Crunk Volume 2, that means that there was a Volume 1 at some point. And that also means that, you know, Crunk Hits is like something that deserves like its own album. 
Um, and I definitely agree that it definitely deserves its own album. You know what? There's no better way to end this episode with talking to this girl again. I'm going to risk it and do the crazy jump over that way. And let's talk to her again for one last time. Um, but it, but the, the Icy song was on that Crunk Kids and it was pretty wild. All right. Revolting against, revolting until his bedroom has smelly socks hanging from the ceiling. Okay. She also has an eyeball flower growing in a pot beside her. Filthy old bag. But the, the, that last sentence always is unnecessary. And you'd be sick if you saw her enormous streaky brown undies. Oh, God. Oh, poor dears is right. This is some disgusting stuff. Next week, we're either going ice or, uh, or going desert. Holla at your boy to find out. Hope you guys have a great Tuesday.